final game in the Euro Cup group stage here today where we have already qualified, but are we going to qualify as group winners? Of course, we take on Napoli for the battle for that top spot today and we take on Everton in the Premier League and we're currently fourth, so pretty damn good. There, dear viewer, welcome back to the channel for episode 74 of Enfield of Dreams. And coming up in today's video, we literally just said we're, home, we're away to Napoli in the Euro Cup group stage and are home to Everton in the Premier League. As you can see, recent form has been pretty, pretty damn good, including a 1 0 win at FC United of Manchester, where Julian scored a two a second minute penalty and we held on for the win. Very famous win. Back-to-back -back wins in the Premier League against them now, possibly. Can't remember. Probably not, actually, because I think we might have got thumped from by them away last season after we beat them at home, if that makes any sense at all. So the last game you would have seen would have been the Napoli game and the Norwich game, where we won convincingly, and then we followed that up with a string of wins, then a string of draws in the month of November, followed by a 5-0 win at home to Circle Bruges in the Euro Cup group stage and we've been perfect in the Premier League so far in December scoring by an aggregate of 8 goals to nil where KK and Julian have been pretty damn good uh, Julian definitely um, coming good after his move uh, really really happy with his contributions of late of course and hopefully he'll be one of our star players for the next five to ten years, which will be pretty damn awesome. In terms of transfer news, we have agreed to sell uh, Lasse Jensen to Dynamo Kiev. Uh, he is going to be going for uh, eleven million pounds overall. Dynamo Kiev, of course, Ukrainian Premier League, and all that. Uh, they've come in with a bid, which, you know, it's a profit at the end of the day, which I'm really, really happy with. We've got a couple of players lined up to come in, uh, two in, well, this one's coming in in January because he's, yes, he is 18 years old, but he's from Aberdeen, so it's absolutely fine. Juan Maria is from uh, Atletico Pamplona, £25 million, pounds. Uh, quite happy with that, and he, hopefully, will be a better choice than what uh, Farian would have been. So I guess we'll see. So let's get into the... Oh, we're also in for another Spanish defender as well from uh, Cadiz. Cats, I don't know. Uh, release fee clause of... 14, no, relegation release clause of 14.5 million. I've obviously put the offer in to come for him to come in at the end of the season because we can't sign any, any more under-21 players for this season. And for some reason, they still accepted it, even though they didn't need to. But, um, of course, I will accept that. So, <laughs> that is pretty damn awesome. So, let's get into this game. You would have seen, or you will see, that I've changed your tactic up slightly. Going with a 4-3-3 now, because I just think it benefits us more. And I've got someone lined up that I want to bring in in January to cover this role a bit better than what Plummer can. But Plummer is actually wanted by PSG. So, <laughs> yeah, I know. And also... We've put a false nine roll on Kike. Now, I've done this quite recently. You can see it's had its effects. Um, I saw it online. Uh, you know, not a lot of people play with a false nine. So, I thought we'd give it a go. And he's not done too bad. So, uh, let's get into it. I've not even introduced the team to you. I do apologise. I will try and remember to do it in a sec. Uh, teams are warming up. This could take a while. As you, oh no, no, that didn't take long at all. So Santos in goal. A back four of Lempty, Palmer, Jose Pedro, and Yukio. Jose Pedro being preferred to Julian because Julian is absolutely shattered. Marku in on. Uh, <laughs> I'm getting a bit mixed up now because of the uh, player instructions. So Plummer is the defensive midfielder. You have got Allen and Marku the wingers. Liam Sweet and Fusto Angus in the central midfield and. Kick Cakey, 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 I'm not really a fan of cake, so it uh, doesn't really bother me too much, to be perfectly honest. We're going to send Matt Derbyshire to that conference, we're going to hit skip, and here we flaming well go. Um, I'm thinking we might swap back to balanced, might be a good idea. Right, uh, possibly in, in the first five minutes here, Marku, to Jose Pedro, to Plummer, Liam Sweet, Cakey, to Marku, on the left for some reason. 
but so across to Sweet and it's been intercepted. And a potential counter-attack here. Plummer gets the ball to Marku. Puts it forward to Keiki. Oh, and he forces a good save there from left front. Five minutes in. You can see, banging form recently. So this doesn't really surprise me too much. Keiki with the corner and it's been cleared, but only as far as Allen. Who's going to win? Oh, okay. Don't. That's fine, Alan. No problem. No worries. It's just a football at the end of the day. Oh, dear. <laughs> and now, there is a one team that really does... Um, uh, it's all right. We'll go through for that in a sec. But Liam Sweet here goes back to Lempty. Crosses it in. Lafont palms it. Yukio! Oh, what an effort. Damn, if that went in, I would have probably jumped out of my seat. So, yes, you would have seen the uh, team at the top there, Atletico Madrid, are in this uh, competition, of course. And, of course, we'll, we're going to have the teams from the Champions League uh, pop in as well. Palmer, Plummer, goes back to Jose Pedro. Lovely ball there to Plummer. Finds Angus, back to Palmer, Plummer. Ah, oh, Alan's offside. I called it. I called it. I called it even before Alan even got the ball. Damn it. <laughs> of course it was going to be disallowed. It was miles offside. But you can see, we've been pretty damn dominant so far in this game. Been really, really happy with everyone's contributions so far. He says that, and now we're probably going to go 1-0 down. Ward finds Mangala on the right-hand side. I don't think it's the centre-back Mangala. Yukio wins the ball there. It's now with Allen, who whacks it forward, gives it away, back to Napoli. And Napoli are on the attack again. Colley, Christensen, Zelinski. who's Colley in here. And Colley hits the... I think they'll probably hit the post and win out, to be perfectly honest. Um, let's have a bit of encouragement before half-time. Because we've not done too bad in this first half. I've been fairly happy with the way things have gone. At the end of the day, as long as we can avoid defeat here, I will be satisfied. Because it means we finish as group winners. And we avoid a potentially really tough task in the next round. I mean, I think it's probably going to be tough either way. But, you know, if we finish second, then there's a possibility we get Atletico Madrid in the next round. And we don't want Atletico Madrid, do we? Right, Alan. Oh, nearly gives it away there, but Lempty gets it back. It's with Lempty still. Allen back to, I'm not sure who that was. Marku! Oh, he hits the post! Oh, the keeper saved it onto the post. And the Napoli defence managed to clear it. Oh. But we are still really knocking on that door. I mean, Napoli, to be fair, I mean, we've been more or less dead level here. I mean, Napoli are coming into the game a bit more now in this second half. An hour gone. We've got another half an hour here. Another highlight. Marku! Oh, he's hit the bar again. Marku's hit the bar. He's now... He, he's now... He hit the post. He's now hit the bar. Oh, what is going on? Come on. Ward goes back to Hartman. Can we intercept this? Yes, we can. Angus to... I think that was Keiki. Now, Angus to Allen. Fine, sweet. Now, Liam Sweet. Liam Sweet has scored. Come on, baby. Liam Sweet, you absolute beauty. Come on. And we lead at Napoli. What a beautiful scoreline this is. Come on. That is what I like to flame him well. See. Come on, right now. Substitute. I did. I have got a Sorio on the bench. I thought I did. That is awesome. Um, what else am I gonna? What else could I do here? Uh, Plummer is doing a decent job there at the anchor man in there, so I'm satisfied with his contributions. I think I'm actually gonna bring Marku off for Vidikovic because if we are gonna commit to this four-three-three, Vidikovic is gonna be out of the loop a little bit. So I still want to keep him playing because he is still a five-star potential ability player. Now it's the goal scorer, sweet Angus to Keiki. Oh, a lovely ball out to Marku on the right hand side. Marku doing very well down here now. Cuts it back in to Sweet. And it's uh it is a corner. It did deflect off the Napoli player. I didn't want Liam Sweet to whack it in and it defle deflected off Marku. 
I wonder if there was a highlight involving Marku there. Potentially. Oh dear. Oh well. Doesn't matter. We're still 1-0 up of course. And that is the main thing. Jose Pedro out to Yukio on the left hand side now. Yukio bringing this ball forward. Gets it to Allen. Oh and Allen has just given that ball away so cheaply. And the ball is back with Napoli. It's now Hartman. Wind to... Oh, Jose Pedro can't win that, unfortunately. It is out on the left-hand side for Napoli. Gives it to Trinquiao, former Wolves player. Gives it to Di Lorenzo. Oh, and, and Santos. Wow. I mean, he saved it, but it wasn't the most confident save, was it? Zelinski whips it in, and it's headed over. Napoli are on the attack here. And we need to be a bit more careful here. The font clears it up the field. There's 10 minutes of this game plus injury time left. It's with us with Lempty. Now coming forward, Vidikovic goes back to him. Lempty finds Sweet to Osorio. Angus puts in Liam Sweet. Oh, and it's just over. Liam Sweet nearly adding to his tally there. Oh, my Lord. Right, who, what are we going to do now? I think... We bring Schaefer on for Allen. Freshen up the left-hand side of midfield a little bit. We have just over five minutes plus injury time left. And we're now into that injury time. Four minutes of injury time. The ball is with Napoli here. Uh, coming forward, it's Di Lorenzo now. Remember, I am absolutely fine with a draw because it means we still finish as group winners. Now Osorio heads it down. Schaefer still with the ball on this left-hand side of midfield. Schaefer goes back to Yukio's in acres of space. Plummer is now with Schaefer to Osorio. Osorio just over. And we have two minutes of injury time. Are we going to hold on to this? And we did. Look at that. Beautiful scoreline. And we played really, really well. I am very happy with that result. We went to Italy. We called... I mean, you have to say that's a bit of an upset. I'm very proud of the performance because nobody gave us a chance. You can see we're banging form. We came back at a good time. I know it's been a while since I recorded a video. But um, as you can see... We're actually playing well at the minute, which is a real surprise. Uh, defensively, we weren't too bad either. It's, you know, it's very rare that I say... What? That was a very impressive performance, even considering your recent form. Well, yeah, no, I, I can I can see what they mean, actually. That's uh, understandable. But, um, yeah, I mean, I couldn't be happier with that. We finish as group winners because of that. Uh, oh, we put in an offer for this guy, didn't we? Squad player. She gave him interested. That's cool. I'll deal with this off camera. But, um, yeah. oh, we've got a bit of money coming in as well. We've qualified for the second knockout round as group winners, as you know. Post-match press conference. Now, I don't think... I mean, is it the same? Uh, well, yeah, it must be. It must be the same as the... Um, as the uh, Euro Cup 2, because, right, if we just click on this, first knockout round, that draw is going to be made, so that will just be the runners-up in all the groups, so if we have a look at them, so it's going to be Shakhtar Donetsk, Napoli, Feyenoord, uh, Club Bruges, Sparta Prague, uh, this team, where we got Marku from, Milan uh, recently uh, had a job in uh, they offered me a job interview I obviously turned it down and then Osijek I think that's yeah Croatian team uh, Mush and Gladbach wow 16 points not bad but we finished 16 points as well so I'm quite happy with that of course uh, but yeah I mean in terms of the runners up other than Napoli and Milan I don't really see any tough opposition there but obviously, it's going to include the teams from the Champions League as well. Now, I'm not sure if um, if they would have finished yet. Uh, European Champions Cup. They finished all their games. They have. So, the, the teams finishing in third are going to be dropping down. So, BRG, which is that Prague? No, that's not Braga. I do apologise. Uh, Leon, Leipzig, Roma... 
uh, Wolfsburg. Oh, Wolfsburg. Farian. If we could get leveled up against, matched up against them and we beat them, hopefully Farian decides to come to us eventually. FC Porto, Bilbao <coughs> and Monaco. So big teams dropping out of the Champions League uh, potentially to face us in the... Um, in the second round so we have got everton in a few days i will see you for that in just a sec changes made for the upcoming game against everton we've got fran and zinchenko um in at the back i mean Derego and julian are new to the back as well so completely different back four but everybody else is exactly the same as last game so let's get into it i'm hoping uh the defense uh, stays firm and strong in this because um would be nice to win this game. We do. We go in third. We go above uh, a few other teams. I think we're fifth at the moment. But should Everton win, they will go to fourth. And I think we'll drop down to about sixth, maybe seventh. So, um, yeah, I would say it's a um, big game here today. Uh, we are banging form. Five wins out of five. So let's see what we can do here, guys. Come on. I mean, either... I mean, we start today in 6th. I mean, we could go down to, well, 7th, really, if we if we uh, lose this game. Marku whips it in. Kike! Oh, it's a good save there by Gorta. Oh, free kick. Oh, Kaiki must have been offside. I mean, a draw doesn't really help either team. So, if we can win, that would be good. Uh, Kaiki will take this corner, whips it in, and it's cleared. And uh, Fran wins it. Julian gets it to Sweet. Back to Fran. Sweet. Oh, lovely ball through to Marku. Oh, and it's wide. Oh, that was lovely play there by Marku, by everybody. Marku, especially, but just could not get it home. Plummer heads it to down to Zinchenko, who has time. Gets it to Allen now. On this left-hand side. 23 minutes on the clock. And, yeah, that wasn't great. And it is with Everton now. Julian knocks it to his defensive partner there. And Plummer with the ball. Kaiki is with... Oh, and that was a terrible ball there by Angus. And Everton are on the counter-track. Alex Lacroix now for them. Whips it, uh, pops it in the box. And Zinchenko, thankfully, with the clearance, gives the ball away. End-to-end -end stuff here, guys. <coughs> And Gorta now with the ball for Everton. 25 minutes on the clock. So this literally has been end-to-end -end for the last few minutes here. Oh, and that's terrible defending. Not realising the run of Kunar. And Kunar, really surprisingly, misses the target. Thankfully for us, he did. Hopefully things have slowed down a little bit. So we are going to hit the encourage button just before half-time. Derego's not very happy. I mean, he's probably my fourth, fifth choice centre-back. So... Yeah, I've not exactly been happy with his contribution so far. Uh, he had he got a grumpy on because uh, I left him out of the Euro Cup squad. I mean, he's probably not good enough anyway. Right, Kaiki now bursting forward. Oh, he's done really well. He's got about six or seven Everton players around him. And he forces a save by the Everton keeper, forcing a corner just before half-time, which Dinchenko will take. But it in Allen. Oh, straight at Gorka. Not the best. And it's half time. Not the most enticing game, but um, certainly not bad. Um, right, I'm not happy with the performance because we haven't scored yet. Uh, there have been times where, where we've been really good, and there have been times where we've been piss poor. And that is going to count. That's better. Fran with the assist, onto the head of Allen, and we go 1 0 up. Nicely done, boys. Goal has been given. Fran on his weaker uh, left foot there. Knocks in into Allen and it is 1-0. And like I said, with that goal, we are going up to third in the league. Above FC United of Manchester again. And Santos makes a decent save there. Right, come on, just give it to someone, dude. Right, Julian. Clearance up the field. Uh, oh, Angus has done very well there. Gets it back to Zinchenko, who knocks it over the top for Allen. Controls it back really well. Zinchenko. Oh, that's a terrible pass. 
I mean, to be fair, Allen didn't really position himself well. And the defence is really uh, pushed up a little bit there. Well, I don't understand why they were that far forward. But thankfully, that didn't come to anything. So, uh, that is fine. Right. We do need to bring Fusto Angus off. So, I'm just wondering what to do. I think we're probably going to bring Vidakovic on. Because with this new system, he's not going to be getting a lot of game time. So, um... There is that. Uh, Marku and Alan, I think we'll leave on for a bit longer. I think we will need to uh, swap a few things about a little bit later on in the game. Maybe Osorio comes on for Marku. A free kick here for Everton, which for Goli will take. And Santos does did save that. I, th I'm, I can't be sure that was going wide, so uh, making the save was the best decision there. And Julian with the clearance there gets it to Marku, who's got Kaiki in front of him. I think he might have been offside there. And Kaiki still with the ball, runs out to the right-hand side. And he's been tackled, but I think that was a fair tackle anyway. Marku whips it in. It's partially cleared. Sweet. I mean, no, that wasn't... That was actually cleared. And then Fran, ball back. So Kaiki for Osorio. I think that's probably a change we'll have to make in a minute. Sweet hits it against the, the, I think it might have been the defender. Derego to Vidikovic, back to Plummer. Julian Plummer, for some reason they've gone back to the keeper when Zinchenko was unmarked that entire move. Vidikovic gives the ball away, not even anywhere near Allen then. Right, but Derego does get the ball back. It's with Santos, who does clear it back up, but gives the ball away. This isn't good. Right, Zinchenko, Vidikovic, back to Plummer. L nice ball there to Zinchenko. He's got a bit of space. Kaiki, oh, what a lovely ball there to Allen now. Who's coming forward? Oh, he's been tackled, but Kaiki was still with the ball. Liam Sweet gets it to Allen. I think that is going to count as well. Because I did have a suspicion of offside there, but I'm pretty sure that it, that is given. It's 2-0. Martin Allen has his second, and I think we're looking good down, baby. Come on. And I think it's substitute o'clock now. Plummer has done so well in that role today as well. Um, I think we... Oh, no, I don't really want to bring Schaefer on now. Oh. I had the dog belt uh, burping in the background. Always nice. Um, I think we'll bring Osorio on for Kaiki. Uh, we'll put him in that role as well. And then maybe we bring this guy on for Sweet. Why the hell not? Let's uh, give him a go. 15 minutes left. I mean, I think at this point, I think we will hold on to a, a win here. And a good time to bring Guevara on for his debut. Two minutes left of this game. This is uh, only going one way now, which is pretty damn awesome. Pretty damn good performance. Really happy with it. No more highlights. I'm absolutely fine with that. And we win 2-0. Beautiful result. Takes us up to third in the league. Job well done. So looking ahead to what the next video will contain, I've got absolutely no idea because if it's anything like the Euro Cup 2, which it probably will be, then we probably won't be revisiting that competition until February at the earliest. So I'm not really sure what to do, to be perfectly honest. So at this moment in time, I think we're just going to go with maybe uh, Bournemouth and Newcastle in January. Give me a bit of bit of a chance to do some business in the January transfer window, get those players in and hopefully continue this awesome form that we've been having in December. We haven't conceded a goal in five games so far in December. We've got to go to Man United next, which is not going to be easy by any means. But then we've got two games against Wolves, both at home, uh, one in the Premier League and then the other one in the Carabao Cup quarterfinal. If we have a semi-final Carabao Cup game in January, then we might come back for that. Not sure, but I guess we will see. But thank you very much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure you pop a like on there for me. Hit that subscribe button as well if you do happen to be new. And I will see you again next time for episode 75. Flaming out, this is going fast. I will see you soon.